guys saw the title of the video, right? It, I am lost for words. I legit just got done watching it live. And I ran to the computer to record this video. If you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Judgment Day came out to basically announce their newest member. And, you know, Rhea Ripley had her moment. It was cool. She was, you know, in her groove. Damian Priest followed. Everything is looking good. Then Edge takes the mic and they're building up the moment. Nice. Cool. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm starting to get nervous. I get a little tingly. And I'm like, who's going to join the Judgment Day? That's what we've been asking ourselves for how long now, right? It ends up being Finn Balor, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on? WWE, why would you put Finn Balor in the Judgment Day Raw after the pay-per-view? Finn Balor could have just betrayed AJ and live at the pay-per-view and joined, joined the, the Judgment Day right then and there. It would have been perfect. It, it was something that we all expected in a way, but it would have been perfect, right? In a perfect world, that's what you would have imagined as a WWE fan. But no one in a million years could have expected that. Not only is Finn Balor the one joining, but the Judgment Day themselves turned their back on Edge. They said that he was the last thing they needed to shed. Like, you know, like how lizards peel and they, they, they lose their skin. They felt that he was the last thing they needed to take off their back. So they are, they're fully now alone and that no one is controlling them, basically. That's the story they're going for here. And Finn Balor seems to be leading the freaking team now. It's just mind-blowing. I don't care who you are, where you try to predict this at. This was out of left field. I don't know what happened in creative, but this was stunning. The crowd was into it. Everyone was in awe. I was watching this segment and I was legit saying no, because I absolutely love Edge and this new gimmick that he has, you know, created pretty much for himself with this awesome stable to follow. Now Edge is no longer their leader and they betray him. The one that was supposed to elevate this group and take them to the next level. But they go ahead and add Finn Balor now, who's another freaking awesome athlete, you know, professional wrestler that deserves more and deserves to be in the main event. And we're always complaining that WWE sells him out and underbooks him. This has to be one of the best twists and turns we've ever seen on Monday Night Raw. I was just straight up stunned. And this is a little gift that WWE themselves posted on Twitter. I can't really show it too much. I don't want to get copywritten. But look, it was this moment right here where Damian Priest clotheslined Edge and dropped him on his ass. And Edge and, and the rest of us just didn't see it coming. It was just mind-blowing, man. What a well-written, well-produced segment. And it, it they hit the nail on the head in terms of an, emo on an emotional level. They, they, it was a grand slam because I am so shook that Edge, who created this awesome stable and was this dope-ass leader, is now exiled. And Finn Balor seems to be the guy. I don't know who else is going to join or what else is going to happen. I immediately looked over to my wife and I told her, I think that this has to do with the fact that Cody Rhodes got injured unexpectedly and he's going to miss significant time. And now they don't have another big baby face besides Bobby Lashley on Monday Night Raw, right? They have Bobby Lashley and they had Cody Rhodes. Those were the two big baby faces that were leading the way. And now with Cody being injured for maybe six months, he says he might wrestle at, at Money in the Bank, but I doubt it. But even then, let's say he, he's out for like four to six months. Who's going to cover that gap for, for all these pay-per-views that are coming up? Edge needs to go babyface at this point. I mean, everyone felt bad for him. The announcers who were bashing Edge week in and week out for what he's been doing with this group, they were all on Edge's side, including myself. It's funny how the mind works, right? 
all of a sudden you felt bad for this guy who just introduced Finn Balor, who elevated the talent around him. Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest just backstabbed Edge like they did not give three shits and Finn Balor was just there laughing it off. And you know what's funny? That this segment was as good as it was without having AJ Styles. AJ Styles didn't show up. Liv Morgan didn't show up. It was all Edge and the Judgment Day. Now, what ma this makes me wonder, what if Edge creates his own stable? What if Edge and AJ Styles create their own stable now? That'll be interesting to see. I don't know. It seems like Edge may take some time off after getting whooped this bad on Raw. But... He's definitely going babyface, in my opinion, and it's all because Cody got hurt. Because this this shift in creative is just too weird, and it, it was a complete 180 from what they were shooting for. So I wonder what's what's next for the stable and Edge and AJ, for that matter, because they were so deep-rooted into this story. And now it's like they just flipped it upside down, and I'm confused. So hit me up in the comment section. What the hell do you guys think is going on? Edge is now no longer part of the Judgment Day. That was the most short-lived stable I've ever seen in my life, I think. Shorter than the Hurt Business. Wow. Freaking Edge, man. Let me see that moment again. He's just there and he got clotheslined like a, like a bum, bro. He was just stunned on the ground. And then to, to, to make matters worse, this is, how you, this is how you end the segment with Edge looking like a bozo. That's crazy. Hit me up, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.